coming up on the show, our very own Amari Anderson went to check out one of Hattiesburg's newest bakeries. More on that at the top of the show. Live at Five has always been a huge success when it comes to bringing the community together. Zion Cochran tells us all about the experience and more. All of this on SMTV. SMTV News for Wednesday, October 18th starts now. From the Chuck Scarborough Television Studio on the campus of the University of Southern Mississippi, this is SMTV News, news you can use. Hello USM and thank you for tuning in for another edition of SMTV. I'm Beth L. Miles and here are our top news stories for tonight. The city of Hattiesburg has welcomed a new bakery into the mix of Hub City. SM2's Amari Anderson has more on that story. I'm Amari Anderson with Golden Eagle TV and I am here at Lob Lolly Bakery, a new bakery here in Hattiesburg, Mississippi, where I will get the inside scoop and all the new buzz for you. One of my favorite things in particular is just the sense of community that this place has seemed to develop even just five weeks in yeah. and we have a lot of regulars already and, and people feel really comfortable here and, and that's been really really wonderful. Uh, we really kept our prices pretty much at what it should be as like a normal price range. We've yeah. tried to keep all of our pastries below that like five six dollar threshold because we want we want things to be accessible. So this right here is a lot while we treat it's actually the tree trunk um, so if you cut it open that's the pine um, we're in what's called the Pine Belt, and so the most popular tree around here is called the Wabawali Pine. It's, it's highly, um, it's a very good growing tree, very pro popular in the production of like lumber and everything. Um, and so it's a very, it's a native tree as well. So um, keeping it local and you know native. Yeah, Robert's sense of community has always very much been the forefront of what he's trying to do with opening all of these restaurants in this town and I think that choosing the Loblolly logo and the name really is just an homage to the area that he's from and that we're in and we're trying to make better. Loblolly Bakery is owned by Robert St. John, a Hattiesburg native who is trying to better the community. Loblolly has that at-home feeling where students and locals can stop by for a fresh pastry or some coffee. studying is walking distance from campus and it's it's not crowded this has been Amari Anderson with Golden Eagle TV thanks for watching it's that special time of year for the wonderful citizens of Hattiesburg Mississippi yes ladies and gentlemen live at five is back live at five in the city of Hattiesburg collaborated to bring the city its 40th national night out event Zion Cochran brings us this story and more. I'm SM2 reporter Zion Cochran here at Hattiesburg City Town Square where the Crunch Band will be performing at Live at Five. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, Live at Five is back. On Friday, September 29th, the city of Hattiesburg and Live at Five collaborated together to bring the city its 49th National Night Out event. National Night Out is a special event across the Hub City and throughout its neighborhoods, emphasizing cooperation between the community, law enforcement, and first responders, essential elements in making all of Hattiesburg's neighborhoods safer and more caring places to live, work, and play. Here's what Forest County Sheriff Charlie Sims had to say about the National Night Out and Live at Five. Uh, for, for the city to put on an event like this allows the community to come out, get together, uh, communicate with each other, uh, just good camaraderie uh, among citizens from different walks of life and everything else. It's fantastic. Between the community and law enforcement, um, for us at the Sheriff's Department, we know that we can't solve all the crimes by ourselves. We need the community's eyes and ears. Uh, when they report crimes, they give us information, then that leads to the arrest and the prosecution of the bad guys. So without the public's help, uh, we might eventually solve the crime, but we get it done a whole lot quicker when they help us out. 
I'm Zion Cochran, and I'm signing off. The Defenders of Democracy made an appearance on campus this week. The event hosted five panelists and allowed for students to get in the know about voting. Huey has more on the story. The Defenders of Democracy made an appearance at USM in hopes to inform, educate, and inspire the student body to partake in voting and make a difference in their community. Well, the Southern Poverty Law Center is a 52-year-old civil rights uh, litigation organization that is committed to being a catalyst for racial justice in the Deep South and beyond. We do our work in, in primarily five states here in the region. That's Mississippi, Louisiana, Alabama, uh, Florida, and Georgia. Uh, we have, our work is really centered around four tenets, and that's eradicating poverty, ending mass incarceration, protecting voting rights, and dismantling white supremacy. The event hosted five panelists that students could ask questions and learn about the voting in Mississippi. We are here in the Joe Paul Theater where the SPLC of Mississippi hosted their Defenders of Democracy tour. Tonight was their last stop and they had five panelists to inform students of voter rights and what kind of change they can make in their community. I had a chance to get one of the students opinion after the event. Voter registration about voters' rights, uh, that's the biggest thing that I learned. Um, really how important it is and how we can affect those things um, in our local area. More information on the initiative and the SPLC, visit their website at splcenter.org. Huey Turledge reporting for SM2 News. Don't go anywhere. We have more coming up to you on the show. But first, let's toss it to M. Traffic Camp. If you're watching this with your friends, you'll probably make a joke. Because you know what you feel on the inside isn't what you want people to know. If you have to pretend to be happy, find someone you trust and tell them. If you get mad at things and you don't know why, or have thoughts about hurting yourself, find someone you trust and tell them. You are never alone when you share. Seriously, people care about you. It's okay to not understand what you're feeling. And it's easy to think that you're all alone. But you don't have to be. You're never alone when you share. Don't be ashamed to tell someone you trust what you're feeling. You're not alone. You are not alone. Find someone you trust and tell them. Tell a parent. Tell a teacher. Tell a brother or sister. Or just tell a friend. You haven't done anything wrong. Talk to someone. Talk to someone. It's how things get better. I am studying to be a NICU nurse, to give back that same care that I received. I was born at 26 weeks and was in the NICU for 89 days. Having a support system like March of Dimes is just, it's needed, it's necessary. Improving maternal and infant health is as important today as it was then. Join me in making a difference in the lives of families everywhere. Welcome back. Here's your SMTV weather update. Let's dive into what Mother Nature has in store for us. Starting with today, you should have seen clear skies across the Pine Belt with a high of 76 and what will be a low tonight of about 52. So you may want to bring out that extra blanket that you have in the closet tonight as you head to bed. For the rest of the week though, starting tomorrow, it's looking to be perfect weather as we head into the weekend. Thursday will bring us partly cloudy skies with a high of near 80 and the low of 61. Now here's the interesting part of the weekend. Friday and Saturday, we are welcoming sunny skies with a high of 85 on Friday and a high of 87 on Saturday. So it's still relatively warm as we end the week. Wrapping this week up on Sunday, we might see a mix of sun and clouds with a high of around 81 and a low of around 54. Overall though, it's going to be a pleasant end to the week. 
So Hattiesburg, get ready for a diverse week of weather. You might need those coats in the earlier morning hours, but it should warm up as the days go on. Stay tuned for any updates, and remember, always be weather ready as the fall weather continues. This has been your SMTV weather update. I was so lonely. I felt so stressed. I needed someone to talk to. Three numbers made a difference. 988 Suicide and Crisis Lifeline. Call, text, or chat 24-7. Someone was there to listen to me. And support me. Three numbers helped me find the help I needed. 988 Suicide and Crisis Lifeline. Call, text, or chat 24-7. After a tough Tuesday night, the Golden Eagles continued on with this South Alabama curse with a 3-55 loss to the South Alabama Jaguars. The Eagles have the upcoming Saturday off, but will be back in action next Saturday, October the 28th, for an away game where they take on the Appalachian State at 2.30 for a conference matchup. Also, I have a couple events going on in our community. On October the 26th, the Residence Hall Association, also known as RHA, is having their annual Haunted House event. This will be held at the Payne Center on the 26th from 7 to 10. Make sure all USM students bring your ID out and prepare for a night of fun. Calling all superheroes, princesses, Silly monsters, ghostly and wicked creatures alike to the African American Military History Museum. Halloween event, Boozim. Boozim is a fun family event geared towards children three to 12 years of age. The museum comes to life after hours with a fantastic decor, horrific games, creepy crawly crafts, and some howling good fun. Guests are encouraged to dress in their favorite Halloween costume and participate in the costume contest at the end of the night. It's going to be a spectacular trick-or-treat tour. Spooky Hollow is here. Please come out to Lake Dior Center October 27th through the 29th from 7 to 10 p.m. for the most unique family-friendly Halloween event in the Pine Belt. This drive through event is a mile of decorated trails with interactive stops, and admission is only $5 per person. But if you have a child under the age of three, they get in free. Thank you so much for watching SMTV. Make sure to visit our social media pages and like and follow and subscribe to our YouTube channel, Southern Miss Student Media. If you would like to submit a news tip, email us at sm2news or at usm.edu. Also, if you would like to advertise with SM2 Media, please reach out to Josh Wilson at joshwilson.usm.edu. You can find all these stories and more on our website, sm2media.com. That's it for SMTV. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next week. And always remember, Southern Miss to the top. hunger. Many are forced to choose between food and other necessities. I'm stuck between paying for medications or paying for food. John from Maine. After rent and power, I can get groceries. 
It's sad to say food comes last. Anna from Texas. The Feeding America network of food banks helps provide over six billion meals to people in need each year. I thought pantries were for less fortunate people, but anybody could be less fortunate in a day or even a second. Claire from Virginia. Now I can provide food for my family again. It's not a handout, it's a hand up. Liam from Ohio. No one should have to worry where their next meal will come from. Together, we can end hunger. Learn more at feedingamerica.org.